It is a wonderful rainy day outside. You know, what better time than to do a horror prompt in this gloomy, dark day. All right, well, let's find out what the next prompt is. As you know, as I like to recap, last one was frozen body parts. The next one is witch's brew. Okay, so, um, okay, so the first thing that pops into my mind, start drawing, is a bottle. So, mist coming out and obviously, you know, some weird stuff in this bottle. Um, so something like that. Um, or the next one is like a cauldron. I'm just drawing the first things that sort of come into my brain to sort of try and get some sort of ideas flowing. So we have a big cauldron, you know, maybe some logs. Some logs here with, you know, it's fire. Bubbling stuff. So kind of like that, like a cauldron with a, like a spoon in there. Maybe we've got some, you know, some bones hanging out. You know, got an eyeball. You know, something like that. Um. See, these are two. These are too obvious. I'm trying to think outside the box here because I, I like to challenge myself and really, you know, think outside the square a little bit. So, but I do know, like, well, it's witch's brew, so we want. I want to keep it like to something like this, where there is a brew inside something. Um, okay, I'm getting some ideas. Maybe. Okay, here we go. What about something sick and twisted? Like. Like maybe a head's been cut, the top of a head's been cut off. So we've got You know, maybe this thing's been cut halfway through its eyes <laughs> and uh, it's like, uh, you know, stuff's coming out of its mouth. Um, heads on a plate, kind of like a scary trophy and it's got spoon. Um, you know, some bones, eyeball, like all, all this nasty stuff. Just like, and then we've got some drips because it's overflowing. Um, so maybe something like that. So the so the witch, so the witch has brewed something in someone's head. Maybe something like that. Um, something a little bit like, it's like keeping the same concept as like a brew in something, but not having it in something that's normal. That makes sense. So I'm sort of thinking um, th this. I, I, I don't want to sort of go down this route. Like I like this idea, but it t reminds me too much of a scary trophy series and of the Frankenstein monster I've just done recently. So I want to keep this idea but not have it like that if that makes sense um so 
So, uh, maybe I'm just going to draw a skull. Maybe a skull with uh, with with the brains cut out. Cause that's that's kind of creepy, and I haven't drawn it uh, like a, a proper skull for a while. Um, you know, maybe maybe that way. I'm think maybe something like that. Um, yeah, yeah, something like I'm sort of yeah. Okay, I'm sort of feeling this now. So yeah, I think what I'll do. So what I'll do is I think, yeah, I think I like these ideas here, sort of mixing the potion and the bruise into something really terrifying, like cutting someone's head open, putting the brew inside there like that. Um, maybe a skull uh, with some, you know, oozing disgustingness. Yeah, okay, um, yeah, I'm liking that, so I think I'm gonna go with that and, uh, yeah, just refine it, just refine it a little bit more, so, yeah, alright, I think I've got a bit of an idea, so I'll grab a bit of paper now and start sketching something on it. When it came down to this prompt, I don't know, when I sort of sat and thought about it for a while, I sort of wasn't sort of really inspired by this particular prompt for some reason. Like, I would have thought that I would have been, being like a witch's brew. But I don't know, I sort of, uh, as I sort of started to think about the uh, direction I wanted to go and then I started drawing it, I wanted to then just sort of keep it a very simple, piece and just have it like this this um you know half human hybrid sort of skull that a witch has uh, gotten and you know obviously um de-skinned it <laughs> and uh cut the top off and basically turned it into a like a cup or a bowl and there is still some of the blood that is floating around uh, inside the skull and uh, it's coming out of the eye and the, and the nose and there's a big puddle on the, uh, you know, the bench or wherever this thing is sitting. And yeah, that's, that's really all it is. I didn't really have much of uh, like a, of a um, element like wanting to do elements with this so I chose my most simplest palette that I have which is this paper mill one uh, which is really really high quality watercolor this one like it's this is a really good watercolor palette like it's pretty expensive for this tiny one so uh, I got it and I yeah just used a very simple color palette with uh, with this one and it's just it's it's nothing much it's just a skull and the witch has carved a pentagram into the bones on in between the eyes there she's put some sort of like green sort of really potent uh, um, poisonous sort of potion in there she's mixing it up and doing like a ritual inside this skull and there is also this um, weird uh, eye creature. I, I was just gonna have like this, like the eye just like flopping out of the eye socket, but I thought, nah, let's let's create this thing like this um, creature that is got like its head is just one big eyeball, and it's kind of like the witch's pet, and it kind of looks like the eyeball from this this uh, you know this hybrid thing that the witch has killed, but it's not. It's actually this wormy thing that has decided to get inside the skull and just you know weave itself around the eye socket and crawl around because it's just a weird little eye wormy creature and don't ask me how the green fluid is 
staying in the top of the bowl if this worm is weaving in and out of the top of the head and through the eyeball we won't go there <laughs> I made the mist um, that's coming up out of this disgusting poisonous potion. You can tell it's like this ghostly sort of, um, you know, image that uh, lets you know that whatever is in this thing is absolutely putrid and poisonous. And, and whoever this brew is for is basically screwed. They are, they're going to die, <laughs> basically. So that's what this is. This is this is what this illustration is all about. It's just something simple. Uh, it was mainly just to focus on drawing a skull and obviously the witch's brew. Nothing fancy. Just just a little something for this one. Uh, this one's not my favourite in the series. Um, this one's probably um, one of my least favourites uh, that I've done in this horror prompt series. Uh, but I still do like it. It's 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 okay. It's not too bad um, And it's also got um, some little holes in the skull once again Don't tell me how you know don't ask me how some of the uh, the liquids not pouring out of those holes But it's just basically aesthetics and yeah <laughs> nothing really much to say about this um, other than yeah, what I have said and um, I yeah, I did even though this one's simple I did enjoy doing this one and if you want to uh, participate in this one like I like I always say or um, there is a, a Hashtag in the description below copy yours in I've got some wonderful uh, ones done by a few of you guys, which I will end up posting in a video. I keep forgetting to put one, these ones in the video, so uh, I will eventually do that. So yeah, if you do want to do your own version of these horror prompts, I will put uh, I will put them in a video eventually and showcase what you guys have done in the previous prompts. So with that being said, uh, I have nothing else to really say other than I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!